From earliest times, man has made his mark. At first, his mark was on the walls of caves. With his own finger, he drew pictures of the animals he hunted. As man changed from hunter to farmer, his marks became stylized. Using chisel or brush, he developed symbols, alphabets, and languages. Man used marks to pass information from person to person or from generation to generation. Information recorded was retrieved for essential decisions. For example, the calendar became the guide for planting and harvesting crops. Through the ages, man recorded information to use again and again. The things he recorded, the law, history, mathematics, were the things that brought pattern and order to his life. The history of civilization is the history of man's ability to record, to communicate, and to manipulate marks made to represent patterns and ideas. Always in making marks, there is a moving object. Today, most marks are made by a type slug, a print hammer, a moving drum, or some mechanical device. Man now has electronic digital computers. These machines sort, transform, and generate information at unprecedented speed. The speed of computers is so great that mechanical mark-making devices are inadequate. Their speed is limited by the inertia of mechanical parts. The parts moving at high speed have impact load, vibration, and rapid wear producing a need for constant maintenance. Mechanical printers make only the marks cast in their printing mechanism. They cannot position marks at random. The mechanical plotter requires setup and calibration time. Typically, it is slow and does not title or annotate its chart. Probably the best answer to this need to make marks faster and with more versatility is to use an electron. Electrons are the moving parts of digital computers. They account for the speeds of these machines. Electrons are the moving parts in a new generation of machines which produce information. They make marks at speeds impossible for mechanical devices. They're capable of unlimited versatility in producing this information. For recording information from digital computers, General Dynamics Electronics uses a device called the Caratron shaped beam tool. It uses electrons in a manner different from other cathode ray tubes. In the Caratron tube, electrons from the cathode are focused into a beam and accelerated by a tubular element called an electron gun. The beam is aimed by selection plates at a particular spot on the tube matrix. The matrix of the tube is a stencil with tiny alphanumeric and symbolic characters photo etched through its surface. The electron beam is extruded through a particular character aperture in this matrix, taking on the shape of that character. A second accelerator in the tube neck speeds up the extruded beam. The deflection yoke aims the beam at its selected place on the tube face. When the electron beam hits the phosphor on the back of the tube face, it produces visible light. This light has the shape of the selected matrix character. The character is reproduced precisely and brightly. Beam shaping eliminates the complex circuitry, the waste of time, the non-uniform illumination found in other character-generating methods. Characters and symbols available in the Charactron-shaped beam tube can be much more complex than those generated by other methods. Deflection circuits drive the electron beam to any of 1024 positions side to side and any of 1024 positions up and down. Thus, there are 1,028,576 possible character positions. The Charactron tube is not limited to representing printed text. The tube may be programmed to draw grids, curves, pictures, or generate special characters. The Charactron tube can do any complex combination of lettering and drawing that man himself can do with his own hand. But the Charactron tool by itself does not make permanent marks. Its image is volatile and disappears when the electron beam stops and the phosphorescence fades. A means is needed for recording this image permanently. The SC4020 computer recorder, designed and built by General Dynamics Electronics in San Diego, provides the means for permanent recording of Charactron tube images. It accepts digital information, 
reproduces it in forms familiar and usable to people. The SC4020 is at the forefront of the new generation of machines that write information. In the SC4020, the Caractron tube is mounted facing upward. Aimed down at its face is a 35 millimeter camera. A 16 millimeter camera can be used if desired. For fast paper copies of 4020 output, a second image of Caractron tube information is optically projected to the left with a half-silvered mirror. Here, a special page-sized photo-recording paper camera may be used. From this paper record, inexpensive multiple copies may be made for additional distribution. Frequently, a part of successive records will not change for many pages. Here, it's economical not to regenerate the same background information repeatedly on the Caractron tube, and so a form projector is optically aligned which can project any background form desirable. The background form is illuminated from behind and its image is automatically superimposed through program control over the Caractron tube image on both microfilm frame and page size paper copy. These elements, Caractron tube, microfilm camera, photo recording paper camera, together with logic, power and drive circuitry, form the SC4020. The SC4020 is compatible with today's high-speed electronic digital computer. The SC4020 can be used offline with computer magnetic tape transport. The high-density input tape adapter results in minimum use of computer time for SC4020 tape preparation. The SC4020 will accept data from magnetic tape at input rates up to 90,000 six-bit characters per second. The SC4020 will print at speeds in excess of 17,000 alphanumeric or symbolic characters per second. Time to combine characters, vectors, and curves varies with complexity of the drawing, but an average annotated graph is recorded in fractions of a second. Let's look at some uses of the SC4020. The SC4020 is essential to a general purpose curve fitting computer program which accepts any set of bivalued empirical information, such as rocket thrust versus time. The computer performs curve fits to the data using higher and higher order polynomials, checking goodness of fit according to a common mathematical test called the F-test. When good fit is obtained, the computer prepares a graph output tape for the SC4020. The computer makes decisions on scaling and sizing by examining limits of the data and the resulting curve. The graph printed by the SC4020 is always well arranged and scaled. A major aircraft company uses the SC4020 for programmers' listings. Programmers use these listings for maps of computer storage, for debugging and troubleshooting. The SC4020 produces complete ALGOL 60 listings. ALGOL 60 is a problem statement language of great generality and versatility. Its application has been held up by the inability of mechanical line printers to reproduce ALGOL 60 statements. Since the SC4020 can generate and position any character, it prints complete and exact ALGOL 60 statements. A toolpath drawing made in less than half a second is prepared from the apt language statement which directs a large, complex automatic machine tool. By first making the drawing from the same tape which directs the machine tool, any mistakes are found before the part is made. Errors in tool path can destroy a valuable part or damage the machine tool itself. The 4020 drawing can also be used by final inspection to check accuracy of the finished part. Program evaluation review technique known as PERT is one of the critical path methods useful in scheduling and monitoring large projects such as the Polaris missile program. PERT is a requirement on many government contracts Computer programs are in existence to summarize PERT information in list form. PERT charts then have to be drawn by hand from the listed data. The SC4020 quickly draws or revises the complete chart directly from the computer tape. Here, the technique of butted frames under program tape control is used. The PERT chart is made up of successive SC4020 drawings. The SC4020 draws maps for such uses as weather plotting, population studies, or strategic situations. The area to be mapped may be projected in the form projector, 
and the carton tube generates the variable data. Or, the entire map is generated on the carton tube face, allowing expansion of any area to show more detail by computer command. A leading research laboratory uses the SC-4020 to draw pictures. A space vehicle scheduled to orbit the far side of the moon carries a TV scanner with a 200-line scan. Signals from the vehicle are computer processed on the ground and an input tape for the SC-4020 is prepared. The digitized picture of the moon's surface is recorded by overlaying the Caratron tube face with plot dots. Satellite orbits are drawn from the ephemeris information. These drawings in spherical coordinates can be prepared rapidly with updated tracking information. These, then, are a few of the applications of the SC-4020. Curve plotting, printing, toolpath plotting, perk chart, mapping, and many other results of calculation. No other proven computer output device matches this versatility and speed. The effective uses of the SC-4020 are limited only by the ingenuity of the user. In the SC-4020, man has a device to make marks with speeds never possible before. This device has all the versatility of man's own hand. It lets man make his mark with unprecedented creativity. The SC-4020 is a product of General Dynamics Electronics.